Okay, this morning I'm going to try and solve for you a problem that I took forever finding a solution to. Very frustrating, having to do with the ICS calendar invitations that you often get in email as attachments that uh, then you want to have appear on your calendar. And this is particularly important for people who might have multiple calendars in their Outlook. So this, this is uh, kind of staged right here. This is my calendar. I have all the calendars are under under my calendars and there's an on Microsoft account, there's an on my computer account, and then there's the, uh, the, the, the archive. Basically, these are the old uh, calendars that I've moved physically on my, cal on my computer. These synchronize with servers. So anyway, when you get an ICS file, typically my experience was I could never tell which calendar it was gonna show up in. And even when I tried, tried to force it someplace, it, it just wasn't working. What I discovered was because my calendars, this view is my calendars and it uses multiple sub views for this amalgam view, you have to select over here the calendar you want to have it go into before you drag this ICS in. Don't double click it. I, I found that double clicking uh, not is not as controlled as pos as it is. Now I don't have to be on the date when I drag this in, but it, for the purposes of the example, it makes sense. I could drag this in on September first. It would still go to the September twenty second. So I'm going to drag this into the area of the calendar and it's going to show up right there. This is a webinar that I'm going to go to on the 22nd. And so that's currently in the on Microsoft calendar, and I can prove that by clicking on and off, and there it is. So that was the target I wanted. I had it selected there. Now I can put it, if I wanted to, I could put it on the, the MSN calendar by selecting here and dragging it, and now it's, it's appearing there. And if I turn these off now it's it's not showing up anymore turn that off it's no longer the 11th so that is how you control which calendar the ICS invitation is going to end up in and I sure wish Microsoft had uh, put together something like this video because I literally was dealing with this for months and I would end up recreating the calendar event in the calendar I wanted as a new as a new calendar event and then of course it was out of sync with the uh, with the person who had invited me so that's it again select the calendar first then drag the ICS calendar ICS invitation into your calendar any place will work and it will sh it will end up on that calendar that's it hope that helps